Hello everyone, this is Aisha Joshi and again I am here with you with a brand new session that is presented by HEYS. So here we are going to discuss the brand new session that is National Investigation Agency. So basically today we are going to discuss what it is and why it is important for exam part of you. Okay, so here it is the logo of NIA, National Investigation Agency, that is presented by the Ministry of Home Affairs. It comes under the Ministry of Home Affairs of Government of India. So, uh, let's have a view. The NIA is the Central Counter-Terrorism Law Enforcement Agency in the country. It was created in 2008 after the Mumbai terror attack the same year. Okay. In which year the Mumbai terror attack was uh, done. In that year, we realized that we need a uh, investigation agency that will work on all these terrorist activities or something else that are creating nuisance in the country. So it was created in 2008 uh, after the Mumbai terror attack. Okay, so the NIA can investigate terror cases across the country without having to get per permission from the state so here it is a thing that uh, before this law before the enforcement of this agency the uh, any agency or any uh, particular section that wants to work on terrorist attacks or some terror uh, activities then they have to get permission from that particular state in which they are going to do the investigation but this is the good thing of this investigation that this NIA can investigate terror cases across the country without having to get permission from the states. Okay, so they are free to investigate and to get what is happening in that particular state so that our country will be safe with all these terrorist attacks. So the agency investigates terror offenses, wagging war against the country, offences on nuclear facilities, etc. It came into force after the parliament passed the NIA agency, uh, Act 2008 or we can say the National Agency uh, Investigation Agency Act 2008. The agency's aim is to become a professional investigating agency matching global standards. It also aims to being a deterrent for existing and potential terrorists apart from being a, stair, a storehouse of information on terrorism. So basically what we can see, this agency, National Investigation Agency will definitely, totally, majorly work on terrorist activities or terrorism. Okay, it will get every type of information, each and every part of this agency will work against the terrorism. The NIA functions under the Home Affairs Ministry, Home Affairs uh, Ministry of Home Affairs that we have already discussed. The agency is headquartered in New Delhi, the headquarter of this agency is in New Delhi and it has eight regional offices across India. Okay, it is headed by the IPS officer, a director general who will be an IAS officer. Okay, the NIA maintains the NIA most wanted list. Okay, if you will go through the NIA site, I mean, if you will go through the National Agency, National Investigation Agency's website, then you can see there the most wanted peoples were uh, scrolling down there. Okay, so you can see who are the most wanted peoples and it means they are doing the, some uh, terrorist activities and NIA is searching for those peoples. Okay. So, it will be a very nice work or agency that will work, that, are, that, that is particularly working presently. So, it is working against terrorism and terrorists. So, uh, in, on this website, we can see as I had already uh, suffered it, uh, on that particular website, I searched that uh, what it is working and how it is working. Then I got the most wanted list. In that list, I got that there are so many peoples that are very uh, you know uh, wanted peoples and that are they are just like uh, we should be aware of all those peoples and wherever we can see those peoples we will um, contact with NIA so it is a good portal it is a good agency that is working towards this uh, particular issue which we are facing from a long time okay 
so let's uh, take a view of national investigation agencies regional offices where are uh, where is it it is in hyderabad guwahati kochi lucknow mumbai kolkata raipur and jammu here there are as we had already mentioned uh, in before uh, last previous slide uh, you can see eight regional offices are here so we can see here hyderabad guwahati kochi lucknow mumbai kolkata raipur and jammu so these are the eight regional offices of nia now what's the vision of nia as we had already done the nia aims to be a thoroughly professional investigation agency matching the best international standards and it will set the standards of excellence in counter terrorism and other national security related investigations at the national level and by developing into a highly trained partnership oriented workforce okay so nia aims to creating deterrence of existing and potential terrorist groups individuals okay so basically the focus of nia is to counter terrorism and other uh, national security related investigations so the nia aims to develop as a uh, storehouse of all terrorist related information so if you want to get any type of information related to terrorism activities terrorist or terrorism um, till now uh, the terrorist uh, activities that has happened in our country or out of uh, out of the country then you can go through the nia website you can get everything that you want there okay so uh, this is the mission of nia this stated missions of the nia are investigate professionally the schedules offenses utilizing the latest scientific method facilitating a speed speedy and effective trial becoming a result oriented and professional organization that upholds the indian constitution and the law of land and that gives utmost importance to human rights and dignity creating a professional workforce through the ma means of regular training and best practices explosures okay uh, showing scientific temper and a spirit of progress while discharging their duties ushering in the latest technology and modern methods in the activities of nia having cordial relations with the central and state governments and other law enforcement agencies of the country other than this helping the states and other agencies with the investigation of terror related cases create and share with states and other agencies a database of all information of terrorism or terrorists analyzing terrorism related laws in india and periodically reviewing them and suggesting any required changes win the citizens confidence by means of fearless and selfless efforts so here we can see the vision and mission of nia totally works towards the terrorist activity basically on terrorist activity why why is it happening so why we are focusing um, just you know focusing on terrorist activities only the reason behind this is we have the basic fear in us the public is basically feared with terrorist activities that we have faced in last few years and you know we know very well that our neighboring countries especially like pakistan and afghanistan here all these terrorist activities are happening and they are affecting our country so basically we have to work on this country because in house or we can say in our country we are uh, fighting with all these type of uh, you know activities but outer country and all the information related to terrorist uh, we are not getting a uh, till time till date till we are not get till we had not uh, never get the nia so uh, now as we have the nia we can see that we have so many informations and uh, techniques and uh, you you know the way how we can face or uh, fear out all these things or clear out the terrorism so nia i can say is just not just a uh, agency or not just a formality that has been done by a government it is a most important counterpart of our country it is the most important agency that will definitely work towards the terrorism which is the biggest fear of as of now 
ओके सो नेशनल इन्वेस्टिगेशन एजेंसी जूरिस्डिक्शन लेट्स टॉक अबाउट इट द एजेंसी हैज़ बीन एम्पावर्ड विद ऑल द पावर्स एंड प्रिवलेज टू कंडक्ट इन्वेस्टिगेशन अंडर द वेरियस एक्ट स्पेसिफाइड इन द शेड्यूल बुक ऑफ एन आई ए एक्ट स्टेट गवर्नमेंट अथॉरिटीज कैन रिक्वेस्ट एन इन्वेस्टिगेशन बाय एन आई ए अपॉन अप्रूवल ऑफ सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट विद इन द लिमिट्स ऑफ लॉ स्पेसिफाइड अंडर द एन आई ए एक्ट द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट कैन हैंड ओवर केसेज टू इन्वेस्टिगेशन टू एन आई ए एनी वेयर इन इंडिया एंड द ऑफिशियल्स इन्वॉल्व इन द हैंडलिंग ऑफ दीज केसेज आर फ्रॉम द आई पी एस एंड आई आर एस कैडर सो दिस वॉज द इन एन आई ए एंड नाउ वी विल टॉक अबाउट द एन आई ए अमेंडमेंट एक्ट टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन नाउ द एन आई ए अमेंडमेंट एक्ट टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन वॉज पास बाय द पार्लियामेंट एंड रिसीव द प्रेजिडेंशियल असेंट ऑन जुलाई टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन इट इज इन जुलाई टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन दिस इज द स्पेसिफिक थिंग दैट इट इज एन एक्ट दैट हैज़ बीन पास इन जुलाई टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन दिस एक्ट हैज़ मेड अ फ्यू to the original NIA Act of 2008. So here it is the noti- uh, noticeable point that NIA Act was passed in 2008. Now in 2019 there were some um, major amendments that has been done. So it is important for exam point of view because there was some there are some few major um, you know f- uh, changes that has been done in the act. So what are these changes? these changes are the amendment allows the agency to investigate towards few offenses and these are the new offense new offenses what are these the first one is human trafficking second one is counterfeit currency or bank notes related offenses sales or manufacturing of prohibited arms offenses under the explosive uh, substances act 1908 and cyber terrorism so we can say before this amendment we were or we can say nia was totally working towards the terrorism only but now these are the new offenses in which the nia will work and um, why we added the question is why we added these new amendments or offenses in it the reason behind this we in these recent years or recent times we are facing all these five major problems and we didn't get any you know a particular way to find out the way so nia will work on it and this will be done by the nia amendment act 2019 the amendment also expands the jurisdiction of nia now it has the authority to investigate offenses that are committed outside indian territory subject to international treaties and domestic laws of other nations so it is important it will now it uh, as of now it will work towards outside the indian territory so this is important before this amendment uh, nia was not working outside the country okay so the next thing is special courts special courts will be done or constituted and where all these matters will be conducted accordingly the government will have the power to designate sessions courts as special courts after consulting with the chief justice of the high court okay the act also authorize the state government to designate special courts the government can appoint more than special court in an area currently there are 38 special nia courts this is the most important thing then at present that at present we are having the 38 special nia courts across the states and seven across the seven across the union territories and uh, 38 across the country okay so here we were talking about the uh, basically yeah here it is the special courts judges are appointed by the government of india in consultation with the high court chief justices of the area the trials of the nia special courts have precedence over the trial of the accused in any other case in any other court okay so thanks for watching this was a brand new session and i know that uh, we all know that this was the most important topic for exam point of view so exams are on hand so guys uh, buckle up 
नाउ इट इज़ द टाइम टू गो अहेड बेस्ट ऑफ लक बाय